Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K player in existence. Listen very closely guys, you have to watch this full video or you're not going to understand how to make the best lockdown or lockdown in general. It's supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? And look, man, I am fent to give y'all the best NBA 2K22 fast. The fastest lockdown possible you can make and still get a heap of badges and do everything and be a demigod like Michael Jordan himself. Kobe himself. Kawhi. Clay Thompson himself. Okay? First, what we are going to do before we even get into the builder, my boy. And y'all be sure to go watch my last video after this one. It is a full dribble tutorial. You can become an ISO or screen bitch sensei if you, you know, whatever you choose to do. So first, what you're going to do is your shit is going to be imperial system, right? What you're going to do is you're going to want to switch it to metric system. The reason you are going to want to do this is because you're going to be taller. Um, the attributes and shit might not be different, but you're going to be taller than um, a lot of people's lockdowns. And make sure you put this shit on zero. I don't know why this nigga has this shit on. I got someone on my account right now grinding badges. I'm on another nigga shit. You feel me? Hey, drop a like. Subscribe if you are new. Help me hit 300k. Turn on post notifications. You get to go glitchy at the point guard position. You're going to be like basically a 6'6 lock. You're basically going to be uh, <clears throat> you're going to be bigger than the, the height we choose. OK, um, you can look it up yourself. You can't do that at the other position. I'm, I'm going to just put 24 to Kobe. Pick whatever hand you want, man. And look, bro. So we're going to make him 197. <laughs> millimeters <laughs> okay and look what this is going to create man what this shit is going to create is basically if you look up these attributes these are the attributes for a six five lock but you look up that height that is six five and a half so you're going to be bigger right supposedly uh, most likely um someone do a height test whoever makes this shit do a height test and you know have someone make this and and see it if there's a difference man but if you look this shit up you're taller if you put this height on other builds it will make you be six six right um like you'll get the six six attributes so you know this is the glitchy shit the glitchy but yeah let's get into it man um you could choose whatever body type you want um i would go with built because it's going to make you appear even bigger than what you already are okay now look there's two different type of locks that are going to be the meta um i went ahead and went with the fast lock but it's not going to have um key defensive badges you have to make the sacrifice to keep up with people because a lot of people are making small lot uh guards this year and get 99 speed 99 three point and shit shit like that so you might as well go a little smaller than you would in previous years previous years the best locks were six six um but you get less speed and niggas is moving out here bro they really is but you're gonna get less defensive back i'm gonna I'm show you i'm gonna show you man i'm gonna just i can i can show you better than i can tell you man so look firstly we are going to bring now i'm gonna break it down this lock completely and like you could have a better badge spread than than like what i'm gonna show you but you're gonna be missing key things man so we're gonna have an 84 driving dunk, right? This is good so I can get contact dunks, okay? 84, that's the um, threshold we have right here. We're gonna bring this standing dunk up to a 58, and I'm gonna tell you why. Hacker Swan, Hacker Swan, okay? Now, oops. What the fuck am I doing? Now look, fast twitch, man. What 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 does this shit say? Speeds up to the. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? 
speeds up the ability to get standing layups or dunks off before the defense has time to contest. I bet a lot of locks out there aren't going to have this up. Um, and I could have did it a different way and got more badges and shit. But I wanted to have this to maybe unlock the animations. Y'all know how niggas do like in the past, like fucking chase down on bronze just to unlock the animations. I'm assuming it might be the same this year, man. So that's what I went and did. Um, the three is going to be an 82. We're going to bring this free throw up to a 74. So this build could be everywhere. It could play everywhere. Stage, pro-am, comp, pro-am. Um, wreck all that shit, man. And a 67 midi is good enough. Now look, this hole right here, man. The um the 82 uh three point. Now look, you bring this hole down. Look, you don't get the limitless spot up on a uh, Hall of Fame. This is basically your range extender now, right? And bam, you see, you get that shit on gold. People might be making this shit lower, and all that. You know, but then they miss out on the gold. That's why I keep it at 82, man. Now, um, we're going to bring the pass accuracy to a 70, man. And the reason we're going to do that is because of bullet passer, man. If you made a lock last year on next gen, look, man, I'm, I'm going to give you all some advice. The only way you can really get away with no playmaking is if you really make like some type of lock and you like really like like you really know your teammates, right? And like, you know, you're just going like all into everything else and you're not ever touching the ball. Like you're just going straight corner. You only shoot. You don't ever run with the ball. None of that shit. You just go for oops. You don't ever touch the ball. You don't play pro-am. You just, you can, you can get away with it. But a lot of y'all, you don't have teammates like that to where you'll be able to do that. You probably don't have to do more than what you would have to do. But you can get away with it within the right circumstance, right? But in a normal circumstance, and to have your build just as versatile as possible, you gotta at least have silver, right? But it's possible to get away with no playmaking, bro, and to just lock shit up. It really is, bro. Um, but a lot of y'all aren't like willing to take that sacrifice to focus on something else. But you know, so I just made it made it like this, so people can really understand man but the 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 hip niggas know what i'm talking about y'all seen stage players play them niggas don't ever touch the ball you know like pro amp they, they don't ever really touch the ball like you know they, they they can but there's some out there you know they you know you ain't really touching that shit bro ever um but look so uh i made the ball handle a 50 so i could get unpluckable on bronze at least you feel me? And um, I made the speed with ball a 50 so I could get quick first step. You know, this I'm, I'm giving y'all the meta on how to make your lockdown so it's easier, man. Okay? So you don't got to spend all this time in the builder. This is a blueprint, man. Okay, now look. We're going to bring the perimeter defense to a 97. Um, I think at 95 is when you... Yeah at 94 that's when you start to lose shit right but we're gonna have it at a 97 okay we're gonna bring this interior up to 50 i am taking the risk of no strength okay um they're again they're promoting that strength matters strength can help you fight through screens strength can help you get contact dunks bro if strength can help you fight through screens you know what's better this this fucking game would be like how, how you really be able to shut shit down in this game. Like, but every year, bro, you can even talk to the comp pro-am niggas, bro. In every mode, strength do not really be mattering. Like, you can really go on 100 game win streaks. Like, comp pro-am, like, strength has never mattered. I'm going to take that risk. I would take that risk. Um, If I was y'all, I mean, if you, if you think it's going to matter this year, you can go ahead, add some shit to it, bro. 80 strength lock, but you're gonna be slower and all that type of shit. Uh, 90 strength lock, fucking 70 strength. I don't know. If any of y'all have locks like that, let me use him. Um, so I can really uh like make a vid about it, cause you know I ain't trying to waste no bread, my nigga. We we a family, we a community. We gonna bring the steel to 99. Y'all know that shit glitchy as hell. <laughs> 
We're going to bring the block to a 72. Now, here's where we get the talking and the walking, my nigga. Look. 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 Let me show you something. So, look. If you do go 6-6, six, six, you can unlock this on gold. And you can unlock rim protector on uh silver. Right? They um made the locks more limiting in a sense. But I guess defense is improved. I don't I don't I don't know, bro. But you gonna really have to rock rim protector on bronze. If you go six six, you can unlock it on um silver. But you're going to be like five speed and five acceleration slower, but you're going to have um, better defensive badges. Um, but yeah, like that's what you got to do to, to, to keep up with niggas. And I, I, I wanted to make a more safe, fast option because what, what's worse than making a lock that can't keep up with nobody just because you got badges? And who knows if the bronze and the silver is going to be that dramatic of a difference or the gold chase down the silver if it's that dramatic of a difference. So, you know, I rocked it out like this, man. I, I'm just explaining. Not, not trying to be long-winded. Just just trying to help y'all niggas out so you don't waste money, man. Um, 75 offensive rebound, rebound, 83 defensive rebound. And this is going to bring us to 32 potential badge points. And also, you can do colleges. So you could do like plus four on your uh, defensive or whatever else you want to do. Um, I would recommend defensive, to be honest. And now we're going to go and max this speed out. 93 speed. 91 acceleration. We're going to bring the vertical to a 75, okay? To get the contact dunks off one. Okay, off two, you need 70. Off one, you need 75. Like, they really finessing niggas out here. If you don't know that shit, you really getting your shit finessed. Um, Because every year, if you guys don't know, I always post the best dunks. I'm the nigga that found this shit. The fastest dunks are off one, right? So if you do off two, you're going to be having slower dunks. You feel me? A lot of niggas don't know that shit. Um, but yeah, and then we're going to have 99 stamina. Um, I don't know like what we need exactly, but this is the lock, man. This is the lock. This is the lock. Y'all um rate the bill down below. Don't say no stupid shit because you're not better than me. Um, you're not smarter than me. <laughs> like a lot of like I will backhand some of y'all bitch ass niggas, man. If you 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 know your little weak ass, like you don't even got a good decent win percent. I know like I, I'm just saying, like, y'all niggas be talking fucking reckless, nigga. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. For, you, for your bitch ass, it's gonna comment something stupid. Fuck you, nigga. Bitch. But yeah, man, so the driving layup's a little low. Um, I know. But it's good enough. Um, the driving dunk. Uh, the standing dunk for fast twitch. Faster dunk animations. That's what I'm hoping for. This midi's good enough. You know the three. You know this. This is a this is a pretty good fast build. This is this is more going towards the the pure lockdown that can shoot from limitless, and um still get contact dunks. You just can't won't be able to ball handle. Um, and yeah, I I I think it's a I think it's the most valid lock to be honest. Um, yeah, y'all can get in the builder yourself. See what you can make. See what you want to sacrifice. Um, if people make this shit look better or different, it's because they're missing out on key attributes. But yeah. And um, yeah, the primary takeover. As you see, man, we get limitless, spot up precision, extreme clamps, perimeter badge drop, and enhanced jump shot contest. Now with locks, you can really usually just take them straight to the park without even badges, you know? Since it's like hella easy to shoot and you already got high defensive ratings. So it's like you gonna want to go out there with your extreme clamps first and then your spot up precision. I mean, you could do double sharp, do whatever you want. And yeah, man, I would rock something like this, to be honest. And voila, perimeter lockdown bill. Lonzo Ball, Murray. And Drew Holiday, man. Honestly, these are probably the finishing badges I would rock. Um, I would have to play a lot to really test. Lob City might be needed. 
teardropper may be pro touch limitless might be downgraded slithery might be downgraded posterizer maybe maybe not fast twitch might need unstrippable you know but yeah this is something i would rock for shooting with this build i would have dead eye on bronze maybe possibly completely taking it off or maybe silver it's always a eh badge you know it's just a it's just always been an eh badge like not really popping up always display who who the fuck knows um i was thinking of doing maybe catch and shoot bronze but eh, i don't know hot zone hunter silver that's always been a very important badge sniper everybody is saying is op as fuck <clears throat> if you could time your shots good basically the opposite of a uh, flexible release limitless spot up is basically the new range extender um people been complaining about it um i gotta do more labbing on it to see like what it really you know they're saying like as long as you stop and shoot a standing shot it's supposed to activate and then spot ups that's what it's supposed to do not too sure even the devs are having problems with it and corner specialists on gold this could go to silver and shit could change man hey man y'all always check out my badge vids because i always give y'all badge updates too at the very end now right here this is a toughie my boy oh i wish i had more to be honest um i might do some shit for some more playmaking you know so i could get um bailout or glue hands or needle threader and um yeah uh because but this this is good enough bro to be honest like you could live with this but uh the bailout you're not gonna be able to land on that um so you might want to do one of the college shit for playmaking so you could get more of these badges and defensive okay these are the badges i would pick not too sure about this but this seems pretty cool to me bronze chase down artist hall of fame menace we'll have to see how good that is hall of fame pickpocket bronze rim protector um bronze off ball pest we'll see if that makes a difference hall of fame interceptor people complaining about steals all that shit so you know we, we went ahead and you know put that shit on hall of fame um pogo stick tireless might need to be upgraded we need to see clamps hall of fame we see what we can get away with ball stripper bronze we see if that is effective intimidator silver and pick dodger hall of fame y'all let me know what badges y'all have used and how you feel about them so far man i really been in the my career i can't hold you so it's like i haven't tested a lot of shit out but i definitely will and i'll keep y'all up to date but yeah make sure y'all um subscribe if you new. help me hit 300k turn on them post notice hit that goddamn like button make sure y'all go check my uh dribble tutorial that i dropped hey, hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that Made me, now break it down Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.